Hello everybody! My favorite strand build for PvP is what we're talking about today. So let's get started with the exotic that I'm using, which is Dragon Shadow. I know I've made approximately 2 billion videos about Dragon Shadow before, but stick with me. And this build is all about being very fast, very healthy, and having your movement abilities up as often as possible. Now, you can use this exact same build with Speedloader Slacks if you prefer that exotic, but the reason that I chose Dragon Shadow over the Slacks is because one, you don't need to invest 100 points into mobility, giving you more to work with for other stats, which is very nice as a hunter, where we just have so many stats that we want to build into. Two, I just love the way Dragon Shadow makes me feel with the perk active. You're sliding further, you're moving faster, reloading faster, switching weapons faster. Everything just feels so sped up that it gives me a confidence to get in there and be aggressive and be able to get out safely if I need to. And three, because I never have to manually reload any of my guns. I can dodge, get my melee back because we don't need to use marksman's dodge and have all of my weapons instantly reloaded, which saves your ass a lot. Saves my ass a lot. So I'm sure it's going to save yours a lot. <laughs> Before we get deeper into the build, a quick tip if you are running strand is to set your empowered melee and regular melee to different buttons. The reason for this is because if you have your empowered melee ability up and you try to do the grapple melee, you will just throw your little dart, which is not what we want because the grapple melee is an incredible movement tool as well as a damaging tool. You grapple, you melee, you push yourself forward a little bit further. It's kind of like shoulder charging in a way, but it's just very important. So please separate those. It will make your life so much better, I promise you. So this build is running 50 mobility with 100 recovery and 100 discipline, but we are essentially running triple 100s because of how Dragon Shadow works. And the reason that I want 100 mobility is obvious. I'm a hunter. I need it so I can dodge. 100 recovery is just always what I want in PvP. It allows me to disengage and then re-engage way faster. And then I want 100 discipline because I want to have my grapple up as much as possible. Grapple is just so good. It's so good. So that is why I'm using this stat spread for this build. Now let's jump into fragments. We're using Thread of Ascent, which is another ability to reload our weapons. So I'm really not kidding you when I say the manual reloading you're going to be doing is very minimal. This also gives you more aerial effectiveness and gives you more handling, adding to the quickness of the build. Next, we're using Thread of Generation, where dealing damage generates grenade energy. This is just going to make sure that your grapple is up as much as it possibly can be. The next two fragments work together and also tie into our armor mods as well, which is why this build keeps you so healthy. First, we have Thread of Warding, which gives you woven mail whenever you pick up an orb. Incredible against annoying fire bolts and lemon arcs that are out there right now because that counts as body damage from the burning so you will take less damage from those burns and you will know that it's happening and you have woven mail because you'll hear the squelch 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 it's exactly what it sounds like it's what it sounds like when you're getting hit with them when you have woven mail <laughs> Then we have Thread of Transmutation, which makes it to where when you have woven mail, weapon final blows create a tangle. Good stuff. Now, before we jump into the mods that you're going to want to use on your armor to make sure you have woven mail up a lot, as well as keeping you super healthy, I want to make sure that you guys are using Untangler on your artifact mod so you can suspend enemies when you destroy a tangle with a strand weapon, and also Threaded Blast, which makes the tangle explosion larger and more damaging when destroying a tangle with a strand weapon. Like I said before, you can totally not use a strand weapon, and you're gonna see plenty of content in this video of me not using a strand weapon, but if you are using a strand weapon, it's just going to make your tangles even better. So on your helmet, you're going to want to use a siphon mod for whatever your primary weapon is. Strand, kinetic, void, whatever it is, you want to use it. And this will create an orb on two final blows. 
On your class item, you're going to want to run the Reaper mod, where after you use your class ability, which is something you're going to use all the time with Dragon Shadow to have Wraith Mail up, your next weapon final blow creates an orb. And generally, the way you want to play with Dragon Shadow is you want to dodge before you get into an engagement so you have all of those benefits, and then the next kill you get will create an orb. So that's how you generally want to play with this and also speed loader slacks. On your pants, I personally like running better already so that health regen starts immediately on orb pickup, as well as recuperation, which replenishes health each time you pick up an orb. You can also run the mod that gives you class ability regen on orb pickup if you're finding that your dodge isn't up as much as you would like. But personally, I feel like I have my dodge up enough. So I'm just running innervation, which reduces my grenade cooldown when I pick up an orb so that I can use my grapple more. Now, the other mods can be whatever you want, reload mods on your arms, flinch resist on chest, targeting mods, etc. But these are the definitely the mods you're going to want to have this build feeling super healthy and working with all of your fragments. So as you can see, whenever you dodge and get a kill, you'll make an orb. Get a double kill, that's another orb, plus all of the orbs that your teammates make. And every time you pick one up, you're gonna instantly recover some health, start your entire health regen, gain woven mail for more protection, reduce the cooldown of your grapple, and you're gonna make tangles on weapon kills whilst you have woven mail active. And tangles are amazing. Shooting them does so much damage, and also if you're using a strand weapon, you can suspend people, which is always really funny. <laughs> but you can also grapple onto them, use them as a grapple point, and this won't take away your grapple charge. You can also pick it up and throw it for free damage, or you can do my favorite thing of throwing it across the map, grappling onto it and flying, which sometimes makes cool plays because if you manage to hit them with the tangle and then grapple melee them, it does kill them. But a lot of the time I do just die, but it's fun. Flying is fun. Tangles are very, very versatile. You can use them in many different ways. The playstyle of this build is really what made me fall in love with it. Dragon Shadow Dodge just makes you feel so fast with everything that you do. And the orbs give you so much survivability and the movement with grapple, especially when using grapple melee to get around, gives you a lot of ins and a lot of outs. And I know it's gonna sound kind of dumb, but I just feel more confident using this build than any other way of playing Strand, and I've tried all of it. Even using the helmet that just gives me woven mail all the time. And I think it's down to the constant health and defense you can gain, the fact that I'm never stuck in a situation where I need to reload, and just how fast you can slide around the map. And when you make orbs and you also have Wraith Mail up, sliding over those orbs is so easy to get to because of your slide distance so it allows you to really you're super fast and you're running around and you slide you get the kill and then you slide over the orb and you're full health woven mail making tangles it just makes me play with so much more confidence now slacks are a close second for me but i just really appreciate the quickness and the instant reloading that dragon shadow gives me and of course not having to do 100 mobility is also really nice so this is by far my favorite way to play Strand Hunter in the Crucible. Slacks are fun <laughs> if I'm doing a more kind of aerial gameplay, but man, I don't know what it is. Dragon Shadow just fills me with so much confidence. I just feel, I feel like a sweaty player when I put on the Dragon Shadow. I'm so fast. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. And also I'm very curious to know whether you are a Warlock, Hunter, or a Titan, what is your favorite way of playing Strand in the Crucible? I would love to know. I'm getting real tempted to try out a Threadling Warlock, you know? I know, disgusting, <laughs> but it looks really fun. So I wanna give it a try. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I'm gonna go. Have a fantastic day and bye.